Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cup of Joe. Hopefully your morning is going well so far. Today we are in 2 John. Uh, I think last week we had a couple days of 1 John. This is 2 John. It's only one chapter, um, but it's pretty awesome. It's all about truth and love and when there's false teachers. and um, It's just an important book in the Bible. It's so important God included it. Um, it says, John wrote this short letter to this chosen lady and her children, meaning probably the church and its members. It was written to encourage true Christian love and warn against deceivers who might deny that Jesus was truly human. Okay, so let's check it out. Verse 1. This letter is from John the Elder. I'm writing to the chosen lady and to her children, whom I love in the truth and as does everyone else who knows the truth, because the truth lives in us and will be with us forever. That's the word, the truth. God's word, the truth, will be in us and with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace, which comes from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, will continue to be with us who live in the truth and love him. Now, how happy I was to meet some of your children and find them living according to the truth, just as the Father commanded. I am writing to remind you, dear friends, that we should love one another. This is not a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Love means doing what God has commanded us, and he has commanded us to love one another, just as you heard from the beginning. I say this because many deceivers have gone out into the world. They deny that Jesus came in a real body, such as a person that is a deceiver. This, excuse me, such a person is a deceiver and an antichrist. Watch out that you do not lose what we have worked so hard to achieve. That's so true, right? You do a lot to build up your godly reputation among um, those maybe you work with or live by, and sometimes just a little something that maybe we slip up on or, or do can really hurt that reputation. Anyone who wanders away from this teaching has no relationship with God, but anyone who remains in the teaching of Christ has a relationship with both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to your meeting and does not teach the truth about Christ— and I've talked about this. If what they're saying doesn't line up with Scripture, they're false. And the Bible calls them false prophets or deceivers. If anyone comes to your meeting and does not teach the truth about Christ, don't invite that person into your home or give any kind of encouragement. Anyone who encourages such people becomes a partner in the evil work. So if someone's in your home and they're misrepresenting God's word, don't encourage them with it or whatsoever. The Bible says don't. Don't become a partner in their evil work. And then the conclusion, verse 12, I have much more to say to you, but I don't want to do it with paper and ink, for I hope to visit you soon and talk with you face to face. Then our joy, our joy will be complete. Greetings from the children of your sister chosen by God. Amen? So, it's all about love. It's all about truth, and when there's deception or someone who's sharing something that you're like, mm, that just doesn't sound right, it's best to look into the Bible and find the truth of what it says about that. If you can't find it, hey, send me a message, an email, or whatever. I'll sure research and look for you. But anyway, we want people of the truth, people who consistently preach God's word according to the scripture don't deviate out in the left field or right field, uh, maybe trying to just uh, make it fit their own agenda. Um, it must fit God's agenda, his holy word in its entirety. So anyway, that's the word of the Lord today. Hey, let's pray together and you can get on about your day. Father, just thank you for everybody watching Cup of Joe today. We thank you here for Second John, Lord. We ask you to teach us, Lord, help us to retain this uh, knowledge, God, this wisdom we've received from your word today, um, to be people of love, of truth, and Lord, to not uh, fall prey to false doctrine. 
and the deceivers that would uh, represent it that way. We ask you to go before us today, Lord. May your word be a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. We ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit. We ask you to, Lord, just encourage us this morning. Strengthen us. Build us up, God, with your joy and the fruit of the Spirit, God, that we can just, man, just get excited this morning, get in our car, maybe turn on some good music and stir ourselves up, God, and just have a wonderful day um, at work or at home or wherever we're going to be. So we just lift up this time to you, Lord. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, sure love you guys. Continue to be in the scriptures. You know, we bounce back and forth between the Old Testament and the New Testament, and then also our Psalm and Proverb. And um, so I just encourage you. Uh, this was a short chapter here in Second John. So, hey, maybe check out your Psalm or your Proverb for the day also. And the Bible says faith comes from hearing, hearing the word of God. So the more you hear it, the stronger you your faith is. Amen? All right. Well, hey, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.